Oh, another tutorial. Ah! So I did this poll and I had 1300 people come in and vote. And I asked, are you suffering from or are you currently in tutorial hell? Tutorial hell is essentially the overwhelming feeling that you can't build anything without a tutorial. That you depend on a tutorial to build anything. You can't build a project without one. And today I'm going to help you get out of it. The first step that you're going to need to get out of tutorial hell, honestly, is recognizing that you're in there and coming up with a plan to get out of there. You're going to need to build extra features. So what am I talking about here? Follow whatever that tutorial is. At the end of that tutorial, you are going to have a finished product. And I know you're going to feel proud about that, right? You're going to feel great. You made something that's awesome. Now what I want you to do is add one extra thing to that project. Did you build a cat app? Well, add an extra feature like its favorite food. Did you build a car app? Well, let's add a bike rack to it. Let's add some extra cup holders. Let's add something extra that the tutorial didn't cover. We don't need to make a brand new big feature, just something small to get us comfortable with trying to debug this and try to make this thing. Once you do that, now you're starting to break away a little bit. You did a little bit of problem solving. You figured something out. You had to do a little research. There's no way that you made that extra feature just spur of the moment, right? You did a little something. That's great. Now that you're understanding, okay, how do I find this thing? I'm using Google. I'm using Stack Overflow. I'm researching the things that I don't know. Let me tell you something. As a developer, I use Google all day long. You're going to use Google all day long. Don't worry about that. But what you need to get comfortable with is actually putting your question into a searchable query, but also finding your answer and reading through the code to make sure it's the right one. So that is our big first step right there, right? So you added your first feature. Awesome. We are making great progress at this point, right? Next thing you need to do is you need to start building an opposite project of what you just made. Did you just build a car reservation application? Fantastic. Make one for houses. Did you build a cat app? Well, make one for dogs. The basic structure is going to stay the same, but you're going to have to figure out how to alternate these new fields that you're going to need. For example, a car reservation system may have a four door sedan, a minivan, a family car, daily rentals, things like that, right? Where one for houses may have a two bedroom, a three bedroom. It may have a pool in the back. It may have a pointy roof or a flat roof. It may be two story, one story. So now the basic structure is the same, same reservation system, same thing. But now you're altering these fields to fit the new needs of this new product. Wow, this is gonna take you a little bit of time. But now, just by doing that, you're putting yourself in a position where it's almost as if you're making a new application, but it's not. You're definitely doing a lot of research to make that thing happen. And the biggest point about that, and honestly, you're getting double the projects for the same tutorial, right? Like you're getting more and more things to add to your portfolio, to add to your GitHub, which is great as well. But you're learning and you're breaking out of the cycle of depending on a tutorial to do everything. Now, you're going to be very familiar with a lot of these fields that you create, right? A lot of this is going to be different, but you're going to feel so much more comfortable approaching this that you're actually going to solve these problems, that you're actually going to create something on your own and you're going to be even more proud of your end product. Now, here's the other thing. Interviewers, developers, we all see the same YouTube tutorials. We see the same Udemy courses. When you go in with a YouTube tutorial project into an interview or you try to show that off to other developers, we know you followed some video tutorial. But if you're making your own version with your own spin in your own fields, that's a brand new project almost. That's something you can talk about in an interview and you can feel confident in what you're building. But then you can take that confidence and now take it up another level and build your own thing all together and solve the problems that you're realizing that your market has. If you solve the problems and the demand in your market, you will always walk into opportunities. Make sure you're solving those problems. Take this as a way to do that. What is your market demanding? Like what, what do you have a lot of big companies in your area? They probably want to see big company projects, right? This is your way to take your stepping stone to get to that and to escape tutorial hell. So what you need to do obviously is add more features. What you need to do obviously is make a different version of the same project, which was going to make you add extra fields. So now you're really digging through. And then the last step, 
Because obviously this is not a one, two, three progression. This is going to take a little bit of time. And that last one is going to be actually make a project that you don't have a guide on. And it's okay if you like, for me, I always look on websites like Dribbble, All Awards, or something like that to get an inspirational idea of like, this would be an awesome website to make. This would be a really cool design. I'm not a design kind of person. So I try to get my design inspiration from somewhere because otherwise, if I have to come up with a color scheme myself, it's not happening. You know, I can't match the colors of my clothes, much less the colors on a website. Like that's not going to happen. <laughs> That you go get some inspiration, you go check out some websites, you get an idea of what you want to build, and then you start putting the pieces together. You don't need to make the next Amazon website. You just need to make a project that you feel very comfortable with, and that's going to keep you going on your progressive steps. I guarantee you, by doing this, you're going to escape tutorial hell. That's number one. You're going to get out of there. There's no way around it. Remember, being uncomfortable equals progress. You need to get outside of that comfort zone a little bit. Being uncomfortable is where the real learning happens. It's where the real growth happens. But more so, that is where the better version of you exists. And we need to find that. So stop being so comfortable all the time. Venture out a little bit. Do something a little extra. I always say the one difference between someone doing something that's ordinary and extraordinary is that little bit extra. So all you got to do is add a little bit to it and you will be amazed at how incredible you really are. It's time to show yourself how amazing you really are. I could talk about this all day, but I want you to check out my other videos. So check out my other videos and I will see you on the next one. I really like this shirt.